John Swan got caught lying again in yet another controversy, and you guys already know I'm hopping on top of that shit. Basically, John tried to ruin the life of a former friend of his named Cammy, but it completely backfired in his face, so today we'll go over all of that and break everything down from the very beginning before anyone even knew what was going on and talk about all the people involved and see how things are faring for them now. So to give a little background info, a document came out on Easter Sunday, April 17th, 2022, accusing Cammy of being a predator to children and basically trying to ruin his entire life in the process. But did you guys know that there were signs the day before of what was to come? Let's take a look together, shall we? On April 16th, 2022, the first indication that anything was about to go down didn't come from John, but actually his close friend Dr. Skipper when he made a quote tweet from a fake Cammy account. I confirmed with Cammy himself that this account was run by Skipper, so now that we know this we can see that Skipper was in on things the day prior and used the opportunity to mock Cammy up until the document came out. The next day on the 17th, he wishes Cammy a happy Easter and Cammy would respond with a friendly thank you. Skipper would then make a post adding Cammy once more, this time with the McDonald's application attached, saying he had a good run. The next post would be Skipper replying to his alt account, saying how Cammy's gonna miss his microphone and Adobe and such, basically still mocking him, fully knowing the document is coming out soon. Skipper then makes a post alluding to someone getting packed soon and for people to wait for the shit show, and Cammy responds with enthusiasm, not knowing he was the person Skipper was referring to the entire time. A few hours later, another one of John's friends, a 15 year old named Haha ha Yeah, drops a document on his Twitter account calling out Cammy for sexting with a 15 year old named Liz while he was 18 himself. The document is cut and dry and tries to make Cammy out to be some sort of malicious pervert, with notable lines like accusing Cammy of offering to send an IRL pic despite no proof whatsoever, basically poisoning the well for the readers, and April 2nd, 2022, more talk of spanking. I'm not here to show the text between the two of them, because it's frankly just high schoolers talking when they're feeling some type of way, and it was supposed to be something private between the two of them to begin with, so let's just move on. On Twitter, people were clowning Cammy because that's what usually happens on the website, people are assholes and such, so Cammy made his own post confirming the screenshots to be true and apologized to Liz for what he had done. Skipper would make a response through his Cammy alt account with the Rag and Bone Man song Human, and John Swan and Haha Yeah were already ahead of the game and dropped memes making fun of Cammy. Hell, Cammy, to put it lightly, was being put through the ringer after this document dropped and things were not looking good for him. His internet career seemed to be over by this point, but then a brand new YouTube streamer you might have heard of named Destiny got involved and things quickly shifted from that point onwards. Destiny was in the middle of an Elden Ring stream, hanging out with his fans, when somehow the post by Hahaya ha ya made it his way and he got interested and opened it up for everyone to see. As he reads through it, his expression is clear, and he gives a quick opinion on things just as Haha Yad joins the call. He says he doesn't want Lizard to feel uncomfortable around him while not stopping to consider that he's the adult in the situation. Bro, he's 18. <laughs> Are you serious? Hello? Their conversation together is basically Haha ha Yad saying how the texts are awful and predatory and cringe, and Destiny explaining that this is some pretty dumb shit because it's a three year age gap between two high school aged people, and that the whole situation between Cammy and Liz shouldn't have been shown to the public. Close friend of John Swan and YouTuber Aiden Projects joins in the call, and the conversation still goes forward, basically of Destiny going on about how the document seems to be made out of malicious intent rather than just being Cammy and Liz's conversations cringe and trying to correct him in any sort of way. Aiden leaves, and then another YouTuber named Bunk joins the call and starts asking Haha ha Ya questions, the most important being if John Swan was involved in the creation of the document, in which Haha ha Ya replies with Yeah. Um, so my understanding of the situation right now is that it was told to um, John Swan, Emma, like this group of friends, right, from mm -hmm. Liz, and that they all worked on the creation of this document together, and that it was released by Haha. Ha yeah, is this correct? Yep. Okay. So now that we know John was involved, more things are clarified and everything starts to quickly become clear to everyone watching. The document was a hit piece and it was made to ruin Cammy's life, and the people behind it were the ones to blame. John Swan then gets into the call and proceeds to say he had no involvement whatsoever when it came to making the document. What's up, John Swan? How you doing, my dude? My name was like brought up here like a few times. What's going on? Were you involved in the creation of a document against Cammy? Um. That's a I yes. Wasn't... <laughs> Oh, it was not directly involved. In that, <laughs> oh God! No. What does not directly involved mean? No, I mean I, I, I saw it. 
Oh, okay, I found the tweet from. Point. Why is everybody saying yeah. that you were directly involved then? Like, I, I've got I, like I, 20 I, different I people not, DMing me, like, dude, John's the one, like, directly. wrote the document. He was like, I did not do that. I don't know where that's. No, that is not true. I quoted, I quote tweeted it. I don't know. Maybe they thought that that was why, but no, I, I didn't I didn't have anything to do with it. I don't know why it's being brought up as fact. Liz ends up joining the call and explains why the document came to fruition to begin with, saying that she told a friend about their messages together and the friend was telling her how bad and awful the things were, despite her starting to like Cammy during the time they were messaging each other. A few minutes go on with the conversation and then Liz drops the biggest bomb of the stream and confirms that this leaked DM to be true and that John Swan was the one that came up with the idea of the document despite what he said earlier. Gotcha. Wait. Swan came up with the idea of the document. Wait, that John finished. Swan, wait, well, the guy that came well, in here just, and said that he, he was wasn't just involved in call. at all? He was just in call, he said that he wasn't involved at all. So like, I'm... No. Damn, bro. This is, no, just, like, like, there's... This is just like what I, happened I, to Dream, dude. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I... Okay, okay. I, I didn't want to say anything, because like, he said that he wasn't involved. Haha <laughs> yeah tries to defend John, but by this point everyone in the rest of the call realized that the rabbit hole was much deeper than originally thought, and if it wasn't for Liz fessing up to the truth, John would have gotten away with another huge lie, just like with the dream situation. Mr. Girl ends up joining the stream and mentions the irony of the situation being that it seemed people were grooming Liz into thinking the messages with Cammy were bad, rather than Cammy trying to prey on Liz, pointing out how John lied on the stream and confirmed she didn't write much of it at all herself. Okay. There's a kind of weird irony here, where you didn't get groomed by Cammy, you got groomed by John Swan well, into writing this document. <laughs> John well, Swan, like, like it you might got, be you the got John... talked into a bunch, he... a bunch of old John, and then he just he just lied to to everybody's faces, saying he was not involved when it was his idea, right? It, like just to confirm, it, yeah, might it have was been... his idea. He gave me advice. He told me like, I'll tell you what you should do: write a document anonymously, or, uh. How much of it did you actually or write you yourself? Could, I did. I gave them messages to like write in there. Yeah, but how much of the document did you write? I think she said originally not much. Either. Yeah. They talk a bit about the new information and start to put the pieces together in their heads, and soon the conversation heads to another call with John back to clear things up, saying it was brought to his attention now, and he only provided advice. Oh boy, here we go again. Hey, yeah, so... I just wanted to clear some things up because I actually tuned out for a bit and then someone else had to give me like the quick fucking recap of what just happened. Um, so Liz came to me with a story initially about everything happening. Um, oh, wait, that's John Swan, the John Swan. Yeah, yeah, it's me. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hi. Um, so Liz came to me with a story. Um, she basically told me that, that she felt she was taken advantage of and that you know, her friends had opened her perspective and said, oh, I was taken advantage of, yada, yada, yada. I saw some of the DMs. I thought, this looks pretty bad. And so I gave her some advice. I said, um, you could maybe write a doc. And I put her in touch with some of these other people. And I said I'd help out with a doc, but I didn't really end up doing that. But yeah, that's like what happened, essentially. Okay. Does that clear it up? Like, I, 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 did, I had nothing. I was not like the big ringleader of like everything. That is not true. I... I I made contact. She made contact with me initially because mm -hmm. I think we are kind of mutual friends. Yeah, and I understand. Kind of what happened. Have you like, guys? Um... I didn't have anything to do with like, like writing the doc, um, or anything. I, I was not involved with that. Mr. Girl sees right through his lies and starts to grill John. And soon things start to get very interesting for the viewers. I I, I think it comes down to a difference in worldview. Like at the end of the day, yeah. I, okay, I so think eighteen fifteen is kind of like so. Really do you own weird. the document or not? Like do you do you no. own pushing no. this for? Okay, so you didn't do the document. No. You, you were not involved at all, except you were involved. You tweeted. You gave out. her advice initially. I gave her advice. Yeah, you gave her the. I don't want to be like. Listening to the stream kind of changed my opinion a little bit, I would say. Well, that's good. Yeah. Okay, uh, so where are you at? I think at? I kind of have a different perspective now? now. I don't know. I, I'm still kind of trying to process, I think, but I don't know. That's well, if you had to decide right. whether Cam's uh, career should be ruined over this or he should be banned, I couldn't give you, you an answer. You'd flip a coin. I'd, 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 have to, I'd have to think about it a little bit more, run over things in my head. I don't know. It's all happened very quickly. <laughs> but you but you did it again. You're saying it's uh, all happened. I didn't like, do well, anything. He was, like, he was one of the hands on the Jenga board, right? Advice. It's not true. Yeah, you're yeah. one of the hands on the Jenga board. But the th yeah. also, this is not your first rodeo. You've done this many times. I don't know about many times. It was one other time. Okay. But, yeah, I don't know. I took a I, I definitely, the way I did that was just fucked. So, I don't know. I, I, 
that was that was not okay. So I don't know. Wait, real quick, just to ago. check yeah. on it. What, how old is are you, John? Yeah, I'm 20. Okay, good. Just check on it. Yeah, all good. All right. All right. Hopefully that cleared some shit up. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's that's. I hope that's. I think right. that you are sensing the winds changing and are now trying to be on the uh, right side of this. I don't, like, you don't think that, like, listening to this conversation maybe, yeah, could, could maybe, like, open me up to a different perspective? I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. I, like, I, uh, I don't know. At the end of the day, like, I'm... I'm yeah, but I'm you're not saying, you're, you're not saying you made a mistake. You're saying you weren't... Like, you can't have it both ways. If you change your mind, then... What do you mean? Like, I, 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 I talked to the girl. She told me what she had to say. She sent me some DMs. I thought they were fucking strange. And okay, so what about this, what them, about this gleeful tweet about how Cam... Cam that's just a that's like a common meme format. Have you never seen this before? I have seen the f yes. I'm not asking yeah. about the format. I'm asking about the content of the tweet, the sentiment okay. that you are gleefully uh, laughing while this person's life is destroyed. Yeah. Do you think if, someone if, can make a joke without like that reflecting their actual views? Yes, someone can make a joke without reflecting their actual views. And if that is your stance, that's if it. you're saying if you're saying, oh, I believe this is an injustice against Cam. I just made this tweet because it was funny, but it actually represents the exact opposite of what I believe. That's fine if that's a position you want to take. You're reading uh, but, way too much into the meme, mate. Okay, like, fine. Yeah, I, that's another position is that you tweet out things that we shouldn't read into. If public opinion sways so that it doesn't line up with what oh the tweet says, God. then we're reading too much oh into it. Gosh. You can take any position you want here, but I, what the, what you're doing is is you're just like slipping away you no know, from from everything. What do you mean? I didn't have like what's you're the saying thing you I weren't involved watch? when you clear you, you you're a bald face lying saying you weren't involved. What do you mean? Caught, then you called no, out by multiple people, multiple people, including Liz, saying you weren't involved. So then you're like, okay, I was involved. No, but, I, yeah, um, I was, but I, I, but this wasn't I, I think if I, if I, I can break, I, I think just, when he says when he says he's not involved, like he probably should have said something. True. Well, no. he could have he could have just been like, yeah, here was my involvement. Here's why I did what I did. Well, people were discussing the documents, so no, I didn't have anything. To, like that was the whole topic of the conversation, right? You did, saying I didn't have anything to do with the document? Did you put her in touch with the people who wrote the document? Yeah, I didn't. Authoring the document is I. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I worded it incorrectly. That's my fault. Okay? It's not incorrect. It's, it's just a fault. lie. If, when you it's put not. People... I worded. It, oh my gosh, dude. Why if it were a movie, so you'd be the They're producer. Trying so hard to like weasel, like do it a little weaselly. I don't understand. Yeah, I'm the weasel here. It's clear that Mr. Girl knows exactly what's going on here, and is trying to show everybody watching. John's been lying the entire time. During their conversation, Aiden drops leaked DMs and Bunk reads them out for the viewers to understand, and Mr. Grill jumps right back into Grill John once more. Yes, like what are you, like, what is that? I just figured that Captain Relevance that you're That you're actively participating in the dog pile. So now if you're saying your, your position has changed, does that mean that henceforth, are you going to not participate in the dog pile of Cam? I think that's maybe a good idea. I don't know. I, I have to think about it a little bit more as well. well like, so you might, know, you might, so, so you're saying you might, you might continue. Because like again, like if I think I'm done. Pebbles, I think I'm done making tweets about this. I think I'm, I'm, I'm. I think my, I, I. The meme was the only thing I was ever going to say. I wasn't ever going to say anything more. Like that was it. Okay. Well, gonna, to be clear, I don't think that's true, right? Because if it would have continued for like a few days, you guys all probably would have been tweeting, making fun of Cam about no, it. No, right? I don't. I don't usually get involved. No, no, I wouldn't have. I don't. I don't, I don't agree with that. But whatever. It, okay, it's. Sure, it's. Sure. Yeah. You know that. Uh, yeah, I don't know what what you mean by those screenshots. That's when I found out. Like I don't know. That was really really shocking for me. Mm -hmm. That was that was literally it, right? Like I don't know. Sure. John says the messages are very graphic, but Destiny and Mr. Girl explain that all sexing is graphic. And then John drops a very familiar line for those that know about his past controversies. You don't know Kamai, that's all I'm gonna say. You nope. don't know Kamai. If you knew Kamai, you would, you, would, you would agree with me. Like, that's all I'm saying. John soon dips out. Haha ha, yeah deletes the document and the tweet he made, and the rest of Destiny's stream goes on forward without missing a beat. Back on Twitter, people were losing their minds after seeing that John Swan lied on such a massive scale yet again. People were making posts left and right about everything, saying that they would never trust John again after this. Skipper deleted all his tweets about Cammy, both on his main account and alternate Cammy account, and says that he only heard about the news and was preemptively shitting on him up to its release despite not seeing the document or a single screenshot yet, basically admitting to everyone he's an asshole who is itching to see Cammy's life get ruined, so much in fact that he couldn't wait and just had to start shitting on him the instant he heard the news. He then makes a final post saying he's gonna stick his head in the sand and dips out from the drama entirely, seeing that it wasn't working in his favor anymore. The third person involved in writing the document, Emma, came into the mix and admitted that she was involved as we've seen earlier, but she wrote it thinking she was doing the right thing and didn't have any malicious intent whatsoever. 
Liz would apologize to Cammy, and Cammy would post it on his Twitter to confirm with everybody just to make sure they knew. John nuked all his messages on Twitter up to that point and put out a statement that is surely something to read. He says Liz contacted him and he gave her advice and directed her to the people she thought could help her. He goes on to say the writers of the document were constantly checking up on her and she felt weird about releasing it but that this was something about trying to help her and not try to ruin Cammy's life. John contradicts himself in only two sentences and says he never wrote a word of the document but only made small edits here and there and that Destiny stream opened up his eyes to a new perspective that the document should have been made to begin with. People saw right through this lie and continued to shit on him, including Aiden, who by this point had completely shifted sides from John's once friend to rival. Someone would ask John to clarify what edits he made, and he said it was grammatical and spelling nothing integral to the document itself. People would go on to sleep knowing that things were headed in a very familiar direction a year prior and were itching for more and more screenshots to leak. In the early morning of April 18th, John would tweet that he and Cammy had a call together and they talked things out between each other and that everything was cool. Cam even corroborated that with his own tweet, and things suddenly came to an end and the drama was over. Except it wasn't. I know you guys are checking the time on the video right now, because after Cammy gets in a call with Aiden, he deleted the tweet and made a new one saying that he was lied to by John. By this point, it's not surprising, but man, that was such a twist. Aiden drops another leaked DM and shows that John had actually called him when the document dropped to gloat about it, and if there was anyone defending John still, they knew by this point that John had malicious intent when writing the document and wanted to ruin Cam. Cammy's life. The next day on the 19th, Aiden would drop another leaked screenshot, this time from Jacob, another former friend of John's that was pushed out of the friend group in a drama having to do with the call recorded of John losing his shit. And Jacob, if you, Jacob, if you want to know about blackballing is, I will make sure you know, okay? Showing that during another drama having to do with someone named Pie Man way back in late 2020 that John had something sneaky planned and alludes that we will soon find out the truth. A few days would go by with people mainly talking about the situation, and then on the 21st, John would drop another statement about everything going on. He says he'll stand by his statements, and that people who don't believe him from earlier are the bad guys, not him. He whines about people calling him names and says they're insane and lack critical thinking skills, and then proceeds to complain about it's never enough and that people will never believe him no matter what he does. He ends the statement by saying if you want to believe those dumb, stupid people, go ahead and block him, and that he has more videos coming soon. This is basically just John doubling down and trying to play the victim somehow, but everyone knows he's full of shit and is mad no one is falling for his lies anymore. The next day on the 22nd, Aiden and Jacob would leak some DMs between John and Liz, showing John trying to convince Liz that her old friends were untrustworthy and that she shouldn't believe him. Later on that day, Aiden would drop a bomb and show John's involvement in making the document, which shows much more than just grammatical changes like he originally claimed on Destiny Stream and on Twitter. You can see how John completely scratched out Liz's statement and wrote his own, a statement that makes Cammy sound like a vile and evil person, whereas Liz's was a lot more certain and factual, pointing out things like how he constantly asked if she was comfortable, which is a very important detail that John purposefully left out to make Cammy look as bad as he can. That's not to mention that this is in the part where it says a message from Liz, meaning the viewer who was reading this at the time when the document originally dropped, they thought Liz wrote this, not John. Jacob would drop a recorded call between him and Haha ha Yeah, showing the two in a Discord call together, going over the document's edit history and pretty much what Aiden's tweet said, only this time showing Haha ha Yeah running from the scene once Jacob mentions he should have screenshot everything. Freaking out right now, fuck dude, I wish I had screenshot this. <laughs> I'm, kidding. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm oh. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Later on the morning of the 23rd, Aiden dropped some WhatsApp messages between him and John, with John, get this, claiming that his memory was fuzzy and he truly didn't remember writing anything in the document himself. Dude is literally trying to pull the I for gore meme in real time, and you would think when proof comes out against him that he would finally fess up and admit his involvement, but instead he tries to half admit it and try to blame it on his new dementia diagnosis we were just made aware of. Harley TBS, the one kid who got trolled by John in the dream situation and somehow became friends with him afterwards, they ended up releasing a leaked DM that had John showing him calling Cammy a straight up pedo, shows that John, yet again, had malicious intent with the document from the very beginning. Aiden would drop another DM between Liz and John, showing that the document was his idea the entire time, and he didn't just help on it like he had been trying to say and lie to everybody for the past couple days. Aiden releases some more WhatsApp messages, this time showing John trying to somehow shift the blame onto Aiden and say how he's the bad guy for leaking these things and how he's so untrustworthy for leaking private information, basically a last ditch effort to try and shift the blame off of him somehow. 
Another leaked DM comes out showing that the person Liz first talked to about everything with Cammy was A-Star, a friend of John's, and that he was the one who recommended Liz go to him to begin with. Later that day, Aiden and Bunk would run a live stream together going over everything that people had seen thus far for those not in the loop, and then the real shit begins with brand new stuff that nobody had seen yet. The new stuff dropped isn't related to the Cammy situation, but actually an old situation having to do with that Pie Man guy I named earlier. The stuff is a whole nother thing entirely, but to give a quick rundown, Pie Man was a 15 year old who was talking some weird stuff to a 12 year old and John basically shot on him the entire time during drama. Aiden and Bunk first played a call that had John talking with a bunch of other 15 year old friends about an apology he said to him, which is just insane to listen to. The second oh, yeah, 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 well, you, if you it leaks, it must be somebody tied to you or you, John, right? Yeah. And that's something you want to say. Avoid. It couldn't just be one of you guys, and then one of you guys send it to someone else, and then someone else send it to someone else. It just went like on a train. Because obviously, I don't care. I don't know. No, I, okay. I'm, no, I'm just. Uh, you would have a motive, though. You would have the motive of, I guess, setting your reputation straight. The question is, how convincing is the call, though? Because I've seen some of it, but that was a while ago. So, how, like. No, the call's pretty bad. How compelling would your case be in this up? situation? I mean, Nick, Nick listened to it and he was like, you have a very good case here. And if Nick says I have a very good case, then, you know, I, I think I have a pretty good case. Um, I don't know. It's pretty, I was pretty like, dude, in that call, I was just like, I just want it all to end. And I was like, at, I was so incredibly compromising. I gave him the out on every opportunity like every single thing that he could have had, like fault for, I basically said, it's no worries, don't worry about it, or like, uh, it's not your fault, or, uh, you know, I gave him the out in every single opportunity. There was no blame on him in literally anything in that call, pretty much. Um, it looks incredibly bad for him, incredibly good for me. There is, uh, there is almost no framing that that looks bad for me, that call. It is, it is... It's pretty bad for Pine Man. We can listen to it later, the full thing, but I no, feel like you, sense, if yeah. you want to, if we want to do this, there's only one way. You create a, a new Twitter account with a number that none of you have registered. So we get someone else to make a, a Google voice number or something. And then we, we leak it through that. So it has no ties to literally anyone. Um, and then we leave it for like ages. And then, all of a sudden, people start retweeting it out of nowhere. Um, Over. Because you could just say you found it through, like, Twitter search Over. or something. And that's the that's probably the best way for you to do it. At least the way I thought about it. Because you can't do it through an account that has followers, I don't think. That's not going to work. Because that would almost be, like, a mystery then, right? Like, who you don't even know who the leaker is. And you could honestly say, like... You know, I don't want you guys to take the blame though. But like in my head, oh, well, what I've been thinking is like, account. I don't want to be a person that leaks stuff in general. Like I don't, yeah. I don't feel comfortable with like putting my like put personal account on like. No, I know what you mean. Um, I don't know. Okay, you, okay. I could just say like I sent it in a group chat with a bunch of people in there, and one of them probably. Uh, probably took it and, and, and sent it to, to other people and, and it went down the chain. That's probably what I would say. Um, I don't have to go into depth about who they who, who those people were in that group chat or how it got there, but eventually I mean, could, it, it got to You don't else. want to get dragged into like a controversial situation again. Like, right, that would be like... If... I think it's going to be inevitable. I'm going to have to say something about it. When it happens, when it leaks, that's the opportunity. Because right now, I can't just come out and say something, right? That you should... The thing about this is, this isn't so much just it being leaked as it is me getting an opportunity to explain myself in a way that doesn't seem forced. Because I could just go and like drop a. Th I, th I I thought about like maybe just doing like a short thread on Twitter. But I don't want to have any hand in that. I don't even want to. I don't want to write it. I don't want anything. Because if I write it, people will fucking know I wrote it. So I can't do that. I. I literally, I can't have a single hand in it, apart from, like, I I honestly think you don't need to think this far into it. I could just say, I sent it to a group chat, and one of those people, well, either the leakers, or they sent it to someone else. I mean, I don't have to name anyone. There has to be, there, there 
literally has to be no names thrown around because that group chat could have been months ago. What happens if this gets really big and, and, you know, someone, if if this gets really big, someone's going to bring up the question, you know, like, do do, do you seriously not remember anyone that was in that group chat? And I think that's going to Yeah, I could say I remember who they were, but I, I don't, I don't suspect that anyone in there would have leaked it. So I don't know. Uh, I didn't know that much. Because it needs to be... I was, I was pretty smart. There's only one bit in there that I... I, I genuinely like must have misrem- misremembered the tweet because I would have said that very, very differently if I remembered it. It was the tweet about urges, and I think I completely misremembered... Yeah, John was trying to run some sort of operation on Pie Man where he would leak the call and bring up the situation months later and try to play it off as if he tried to give Pie Man an out, but in reality it was all just to make himself look better. The next leak is the actual call with Pie Man, a call that John recorded himself and showed to his friends in the first call. The second call isn't too much in of itself, it's mainly John just trying to justify what he did while also talking down to Pie Man at the same time. Basically 20 minutes of ego tripping. I don't know, man. You've just got to, you've got to think about it yourself. Uh, this is one thing I, I, you need to think about because a lot of these people, you know, they might, you might think they're genuine right now, but, you know, six months, nine months, a year from now, you know, you got to be careful because this community is like super toxic and shit. Um, and there's a lot of people that I have lost a lot of respect for um, because of, of, you know, the way that they've conducted themselves. Despite John clearly trying to feign any sort of accountability in his apology to Pie Man, the irony in this is that John got mad at Jaco for recording calls and called him untrustworthy and all that, but meanwhile he recorded his apology to Pie Man and planned to use it against him in the future whenever he felt the need to. Not to mention, Aiden dropped another DM with John, this time of him still admitting he believed Pie Man was suicide baiting from the drama back when it started. Someone would leak a post from John's private Twitter account showing that he was losing his mind behind the scenes and is so far gone he's telling himself that he was telling the truth to Cammy the entire time, but we all know this to be bullshit. John has since deleted the private account, but we all know by now that the post he made is completely delusional and he still thinks he did nothing wrong whatsoever. And funny enough, the name of his private account was also very similar to Dream's private account name. Really makes you think about that situation, huh? On April 25th, Aiden and Bunk would run another stream, this time going over the call that John and Cammy had together that had been leaked. The call is an hour and 20 minutes long and is full of John lying over and over again to Cammy, which he originally succeeded in doing at first given both their tweets they made until Cammy realized he was lied to. Within the first two minutes, John is already lying to Cammy right to his face, saying he had no involvement in making the document. Um, I was initially saying to Liz that I would be helping out with the document. I did not end up helping out with the document. My life got busy and I had other shit I was doing. So that actually didn't end up happening at all. Um, which is probably a, a better thing anyway. But I, yeah, so so I got them into a group chat and they wrote the document pretty much on their own. I didn't, I didn't touch it until the end uh, where they sent me little small sections being like, is this okay? Is this okay? Um, and I made small little edits to the bits that they asked me about. That was the extent of my involvement. I did not write anything of substance. I did not... Um, get in there and, and, and kind of do anything meat and potatoes like with or without my editing it would have been the same thing just maybe grammar and spelling mistakes that would have been the extent okay um a good 50 minutes goes on with the two conversating and throughout john tries to imply that liz was the one who suggested the document but as we all know by now it was john and he was lying to cammy and trying to put the blame on a 15 year old girl hell he even starts screen sharing and tries his hardest to paint liz as the mastermind and that he just got caught up in it all she offered up all this information right yeah, like, cool. at no point here did I, like, fucking badger her for shit. At no point did I say, like, let's go okay, get Kamai. She was the one that instigated everything here. There are two ways this could have gone, right? So one was she was uncomfortable genuinely, and she said to us that she was uncomfortable, and then we nothing happens, right? Mm-hmm. Number two is that she wasn't uncomfortable at any point, so she was telling the truth, and... We go ahead with releasing it. And at that point, I think even that is maybe defensible because she felt that she was being taken advantage of Mm -hmm. and she wanted to go public with it and she was perfectly comfortable with it going public. Um, So 
that's what we thought was happening. And then she turns around and says, no, I wasn't even comfortable with it. It just makes like make, makes us look like we manipulated her into doing it. Mm-hmm. But that's clearly not what it was. I wish I could have gone back and changed this. I really do. But I, I kind of go back and forth with, with this in my mind. Like, I, I really didn't know that she was not being fully honest. I really didn't know. At no point here was she hesitant or anything of that sort. She was fully on board. She said she wanted to go public. Like, she started writing the document. She started getting people to write the document. Like, the whole time, she was, like, at the forefront of this. Mm -hmm. Um, So at no point did I think that she wasn't comfortable or that she didn't want to go ahead with it. I was trying to help her out, and she kind Mm -hmm. of misled us, actually. Um, Yeah, that's that's I. I feel pretty fucking shitty that you went through this and uh I really wish I could have changed it. I really do. I really do. The last 30 minutes is basically the two shooting the shit with each other and towards the end John straight up says that he was lied to by Liz and gets Cammy to make that post saying that they talk things out with each other before the conversation wanes off in the end of the call. Basically started off this thing and I was lied to essentially. Um and it feels really shitty that I put you through that. So obviously that is why mm. that is why I, I called you in the first place. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um Yeah, I don't know, man. Um You don't have to do this. Um you can I, I don't wanna like fucking pressure you into doing it, but maybe would you be okay with like Saying that we kind of spoke and talked things out. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I'll do that. All right. I'll, I'll I'll post something similar. After going through the call with Cammy, YouTuber Tipster ended up leaking his own call with John, giving us even more to dig through. John and Tipster have a quick 13-minute discussion, basically of John lying saying he was not involved in the writing of the document, and Tipster not believing a word that John is saying. There isn't too much going on here other than John lying to another person and somebody that he was on good terms with, so here's just a couple of highlights for y'all to enjoy. All right. At any and point, then, at any point, that you tell her that she should go public, or did she come to that conclusion on her own? Conclusion on her own, because I heard in the interim, because I hadn't DM'd her for a few days, I was not, I didn't want involvement. That was the entire thing. That's why I didn't write the document. I agreed that I'd like edit little parts of it if they wanted me to edit little parts of it. That was all that I ever did in regards to that. I didn't have anything in so you in involved. relation to like. You told Destiny uh, no, you weren't you weren't involved in the. Creation I wasn't of the involved with the writing of the document. But you're not. You did some editing and stuff, so you were involved. I wasn't involved with the writing of the document. When it, when it was all written and all done, I like went and I ch- like it was literally like little bits that they were like. I didn't go in and like change things in the middle. I didn't help them write it. Like anything that was significant, I did not have any involvement. It lit- any edits I made were aesthetic purely. There's nothing meat and potatoes. It's not surprising John was lying, but man, it's so nice to see how far he's willing to take it. Even with other content creators that he's on good terms with, he will lie to them to try to somehow get the heat off his back and weasel his way out of the mess he made for himself. During all of this, John Swan's artist and friend Psyche, the one that has drawn his profile art and Twitter and YouTube for years now and for his recent channel rebrand, ended up leaking her own DMs with the man. First of John saying how nobody has any dirt on him whatsoever and that he'll be just fine. The next is John shit-talking Liz and saying a 15-year-old is easily influenced and she has no original thoughts of her own at all, admitting that he does lousy research and only read 40% of the screenshots, not even going over all the evidence himself, and of course, him lying to yet another friend's face about not being involved with the document at all. It's clear by this point to everyone that John is a serial liar and manipulator. Even when shown the evidence that everybody knows he was behind the document, he still tries to shift away from things and blame it on Aiden for being such a bad friend for leaking the private messages. I unironically think this guy's a sociopath. All he does is lie and manipulate everyone around him. And when he doesn't get his way, he tries to shift the blame onto the other person or people or just runs away from the problem entirely. His friend group is in shambles now, and those that decide to still hang out around him will be rightfully shamed and humiliated because it's clear now that John cannot be trusted whatsoever. John Swan will most likely take his month break from the internet and try to come back and say he's a changed man. 
But we all know by now he has a pattern of lying and manipulating everyone around him, so anything he says is not to be trusted anymore. This video, along with many others coming out I assume, will always remind people of John's true nature that he doesn't deserve a single ounce of sympathy from anybody, especially after what he did to Cammy and tried to pull off on Pie Man. He is a vile human being and will always be remembered for this, and frankly, I couldn't be happier with the outcome. I personally can't wait for his third sympathy baiting video about having to move back in with his parents after they stopped paying for his rent. Oh yeah, John doesn't pay for his apartment. Aiden dropped that piece of info on the live stream he did. Uh, lives in an apartment that his parents pay for. So now we know he was lying in his second video to everyone about paying for rent. Another classic John Swan lie caught. With bills, food, rent. Uh, lives in an apartment that his parents pay for. What do you guys think about the John Swan situation? I mean, it's clear this video served its purpose killing two birds with one stone. All these lies John had been saying, this plan to ruin Pie Man in the future, trying to ruin Cammy's life, the dude is insane and deserves to be off of YouTube for the rest of his life. Make sure to tell me your opinions in the comments below. Thank you for watching today's video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like and subscribe. And as always, with all of that out of the way, I will see you guys later.